Hey guys, we've been live for a hot second. I'm uh trying and failing to get the widgets set up because apparently they fucking broke. Um which is great and I'm doing it live because I already have uh, have delayed the stream by over an hour. So I didn't want to have to delay anything. But uh yeah, notice how there's no chat over on the left and no event list down on the bottom. Trying to fix it. It's not working. Streamlabs apparently did an update. And it broke my my system, I guess. Which is dandy. That's just fun. Um Oh god. <coughs> Fuck. Okay. <coughs> this is a good start. This might actually be the worst stream I've, I've ever done already. Everything's breaking. Like, ev everything in my line of sight is not functioning for some reason. <coughs> Fuck. I might actually close this. Dream Labs is breaking in front of me as well. Hmm. That's just dandy. <coughs> Fuck! <laughs> Jesus. No, it just doesn't work. Nothing works. Okay, I guess today we're going to have to go without the widgets and things. God forbid, I guess. <coughs> My allergies are acting up a lot more than I expected them to. I've been fine all the time that I've been... You know, silent. That'll do that. Okay. Game is now on screen and, um... I will get exactly zero alerts and things like that. But... It kind of is the way this stream has to be. People are going to walk in and be like, where's the chat window? And then they're going to prefer this. Is going to be the real revelation we reach. <laughs> Pepsi Man dies in Endgame. Well, that's what I expected. Hey, Cuckmaster, how you doing? Been a decent bit trying to get through technical difficulties, and it it's just the way it went. I couldn't get through them. So instead, I have to, God forbid, just show the game, which people might actually prefer. I'll ask about that, I guess. Um, this is a game that I can probably just put like stuff in the top right corner if I want to. Anyway, it's. Thunderstorming. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to intermission for a brief second, um, and come back having taken, um, allergy medicine, because <laughs> my, my sniffles are not doing wonders right now. Alright, I'll be back in a bit.
Whoa, what the fuck? Why did the chat box work there? Is it working here? Is it working here? Oh, it's a problem with the 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 scene. The 16 by 9 scene is just broken. Sorry, I'm cycling through a ton of stuff. Um Hi Thomas, how you doing? I've had some technical difficulties in that chat box and uh event list are broken. But apparently only on the 16 by 9 thing. Not the um not the 4 by 3, which is weird. So I'm gonna have to do some playing with things, I guess. Um Yeah, see, right now they're they're just white. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. I'll try restarting them one more time, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, no, the event list technically works with a white box behind it. Whereas chat box is just broken. So today we're going to do the unthinkable and just have the game displayed. God forbid I do the normal thing. So, yeah, that's how it's going to be today. Tell me if it's what you prefer, because I think some people might, uh you know, prefer the idea that the game not be relegated to a corner. But I also know that people like seeing their messages on screen, so I'd have to figure out what system to use for that. At least I personally like seeing my messages on screen to see when the streamer gets them. And I've been told by viewers that they like that too. But we're going to actually play the game now. That's what we're going to do. Um, I don't really recall what I was doing. That's right. I was just roaming the heck out of a call. I actually prefer it with the chat box. Okay. I'll keep that in mind uh, and try and work through that. I might think of just a... Uh, this, this is one of those games where, like, the top right corner generally isn't filled with things. So I might uh, have chat show up there and then, like, disappear after five or so seconds. Something like that. That, that the hip streamers do. Most streamers are, I don't know if it's most, but a lot of streamers now don't really even have uh, layouts. They just have, well, they have layouts, but they don't have um, layouts with like a designated game screen. They have the game fill the whole thing, and then they cover parts of the game screen screen with their elements. Now, I, I personally don't like, um, I personally don't like uh, the game screen being obscured. For my viewing experience, but, uh, I don't know. People might feel differently. We'll see. I don't know where specifically I'm going. Oh, I'm near Terrytown right now. What's this? Oh, the call stable. Oh, that's the, um, what quest did I just activate? Oh, teleportation rumors. That's right. Teleportation relic is up here. That's pretty much where I'm headed. I'm kind of just roaming up Akala way. Hoping this rain lets up soon because I don't really want my uh, cool exploration experience to just be me running from things and dying. But that's probably going to be the thing. Is your Sunday going to be boring as well? Beyond Endgame? Yes. But I will be watching Endgame tomorrow. <laughs> I haven't got a, got a chance to watch the video, by the way. How is it? Uh, Bernie talks for about 20 minutes. Uh, time to alienate everyone. Uh, Bernie talks for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, does his standard rhetoric thing uh, about getting people involved. The campaign manager talks a bit. Same rhetoric. And then at the end, um, two campaign organizers come in and they talk about a new app that they've released called Burn, where you can input information of voters uh, of your friends and family and it'll put you in contact with them and uh, give you a way to talk about issues and make sure they're registered to vote 
which is cool, I guess, but also I don't know that I like the idea of, or I don't know that other people would like the idea of me giving their phone numbers and things to the Bernie campaign when they aren't, uh, when they're undecided. I feel like that's kind of an invasion of privacy to a degree, so I don't know how much I'm going to be using that app. I put your name in just to like test it, so let me know if you get a thing from that, because um, I knew you probably wouldn't mind, but... That's a thing, and I guess that was the big thing of this, uh, of this event. What was supposed to be. For, for those without context, which is basically everyone except Thomas, um, I did not intend to use that twice. Basically everyone except Thomas. Um, fuck? The Bernie Sanders campaign held, like, 5,000 events across the country. Um, house parties for, for the for the campaign to get in contact with um, voters and to um, update people on volunteer opportunities and that kind of thing. And get together and watch a live stream. And the big reveal at the end was that um, the, the campaign just released an app to get involved with people. Yeah, that seems like a big bad for undecided people. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know, it, it seems kind of, someone on, on the Slack put it as big brothery. Everyone else is like on board with it, which I mean, yeah, they're, they're prerogative. I just feel like if, if I had no idea who I was going to vote for and um, I'm just fucking running down a hill. To grab a sword. If I was undecided, I probably wouldn't like the Bernie campaign texting me out of nowhere. I just... That's me. Where am I now? I'll go this way. I did not intend to run down that hill. What is on my back? That's not a quiver for this thing, is it? That's a quiver for that th quiver. Sh um, scabbard. Quivers for arrows. If I get super bored, I might try to, try to strike up a conversation with moment moment. But other than that, yeah, nothing much is happening. That's been my whole weekend, basically, so far. <laughs> I'm bored. Hey! Nerd, talk to me. <laughs> um, what did I have? Something more about Bernie. Yeah, I was kind of hoping for more than that. You can also, it also has a community canvas mode where the idea is you're supposed to strike up conversation with someone and then hand the app over the, to them to input their information on their own, which sounds cool and convenient and nice and all. How do you just slip that into conversation? Hey, since we're talking about politics, please give the Bernie Sanders campaign your information and we'll tell you when to register to vote. It's just, it's, it's, it's not organic whatsoever. And the idea, which is like fine, because it doesn't have to necessarily be organic. But the whole idea was to make um, communicating with people easier, and for for convincing people to be more organic. So it's kind of counterintuitive. And even just in text banking, I've already gotten a plethora of people saying, "Hey, no." I'm undecided, please remove me from your- well, I've gotten a ton of please remove me from your list, but a ton of how did you get this number, which is not a good look for the campaign. <laughs> oh god, this is a whole heckin'- what is this? Fulton and I had a good heart-to-heart -heart about relationships in senior year on the way back home. Well, that sounds nice. That sounds wholesome. Oh, what the hell? I assume there's a shrine or something that will lead to a shrine at the center of all this. 
Will I be able to swim to the center on this uh, stamina, I wonder? Is it a good idea given the sun? Lightning. All right. Basically what I'm saying is even if we if the event did go through, the whole the, the big reveal was kinda underwhelming anyway. But next time there is an event, I will absolutely I, I think I'm I'm pretty committed to trying to host one on my own. <laughs> I talked to the two people who were planning on going that ended up not, uh, and they said they would absolutely come if I was the host. Which is cool, I guess. And if it was closer, of course. It'll definitely be a, a hometown event. Okay, I'm in the center now. Um, oh, fuck. I remember this. I did this. There's a ball somewhere. Along this whole thing, and I have to carry it the whole way here. Now where it is, I have no like no no idea. I always forget flurry rushes exist. You know that cool thing that lets you kill enemies really easily. Just grab a cricket from the air. Watch me not even find a ball anywhere. Watch it have to be like given to me by someone. E Willikers, Batman, wouldn't that suck? I hit- I hit a horse. It seemed to try to run at me? That was gonna go your way. Fuck. Where are you? My allergies are noticeably calming down. See, now that I say that out loud, I'm going to start sneezing like a bitch. But I briefly went to intermission before anyone showed up so I could go get allergy medication. Still not seeing a ball. Can I talk about how uh, motion controls for, 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 for bows is underrated? It's just, it's just nice. I just, I, I really like them. <laughs> is that weird? Probably. But like, uh, for example, in Majora's Mask 3D, 
they added gyro controls for the for the bow and all of a sudden the near impossible um the near impossible uh archery gallery mini games the two of them that that are in the game both of which uh you need to do perfectly to get two pieces of heart um they, they were near impossible all of a sudden you could do them really easily or at least i could because because the motion controls if you're good with them are a lot more precise and a lot quicker whereas you're kind of limited to the sensitivity that you set if you use a joystick so it's just nice i like i like motion controls for okay ego raptor <laughs> Does Ego Raptor like shooting motion controls? I don't understand that reference. Fuck, ow. Oh, with Donkey? Okay. That didn't really explain much. I fucked up the reference. You idiot! Buckle. What a surprise when you get rid of the big, dumb, annoying weapon that you can't swing. The, 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 the thing becomes a lot easier. Especially when you make them resort to rocks, apparently. Now then, did that help a lick with, um, what the fuck? Did I just grab a Boko Spear? I guess I did. Now, did that help even slightly with this potential shrine? No, it did not. Is that okay? No. Kind of annoying. Fine. In a remaster's video, he was ranting about how terrible the minigame controls were in the original. They were easy in the 3DS version. Dandy. Specifically about, um... Yours, Miesk 3D. Yeah, no, it's kind of ridiculous how how easy the mini games became. Okay, what's the difference here? What is the difference here? Oh, I got it. Okay. Now, where's the... Where's the block? That's the real question. Uh, up there. And I have to climb to it. That's really cool in the rain. That's not bad, actually. Fuck. Remember when I said that's not bad, actually? Good job. Pinnacle of of gamer. There we go. That was a little finicky. Thirty-nine. I thought it was at 39. Am I a liar? Well, obviously.
and I wonder why I'm low on arrows all the time. Every enemy, ev ev enemy. Those aren't enemies. Those are just innocent, innocent animals. But everyone I see, they they have to die. I need their meat. All right, so we'll come back to this. Um, I'm sure someone at a stable somewhere will tell me there's a secret at the center of the weird fucking wrist thing. I don't know why that makes me think wrist, but. It's called wrist. That's why I made the joke in the first place. <laughs> Where am I headed now? Um, the, the wrong way for one. Um, right here. That's where I'm going to say I am. I'm headed. But also, I'm not going to worry about, um, where specifically I'm going, because, uh, I'm going to go in that general direction, but this is a whole new region, so I shouldn't, shouldn't worry about things. Not on a rigid schedule just yet. Rigid timetable. I tried to kill all three birds with one glowy blue explosive stone. Didn't work. I only got one. Probably because I got the saying wrong. Whoa! Okay. You're one of those. Where'd you go? There, there you went. I love having to go back down the mountain to get a Korok. Is it really all the way down the mountain? This Korok leads to the other Korok. Like, almost literally. There it is. Okay, well, I guess this was actually a good thing because now I now I found the ball. Literally, I just had to look around in this area. And here I was thinking, oh, I'll have to find a shrine quest. Only a hero bearing this ancient orb shall be granted the right of trial on Rift Peninsula. That better be a gimme once I get in there. Who thought, yeah, it's gonna be a really good fun puzzle to make them walk 70 miles with a ball. That's all this is. This is what they made the, the, uh, haste elixirs for. it's possible to use stasis and just like knock it over there I'm not gonna try it but I'm sure speedrunners do that well speedrunners well 100% speedrunners I doubt regular speedrunners go for this shrine or any of them actually I don't think they do go for any of them <laughs> hey Raymond how you doing welcome to the stream all this, all our widget stuff broke. We had some technical fucking. Why did I drop that? We had some technical difficulties, so I just killed all the widgets for today. They'll be back next time. We'll just have to see in what form. Let me know if there are uh, dropping frames. It's telling me it's skipping frames a ton. 
thanks to CPU load. But I'm not seeing it on my end. But if it's a CPU problem, I should be seeing it on my end. So let me know if it's dropping. Because if it is, it's not the internet. It's my CPU. And I can actually try and do something to fix it. Not only does this elixir help, it also uh, serves as a timer so I can scream that it took me blank whole minutes once I get over there. I guess the idea is that you're supposed to get through all these fights so it's not monotonous but I came down here without being without knowing the orb exists um, and cleared out the area for the most part before um, finding the orb so bit of a different story doing good was watching Iron Man 3 that's a pretty decent movie you I'm good I um, t today wasn't great but, uh, now I'm good. Um, today there was supposed to, the Bernie Sanders campaign was doing, um, uh, doing events across the nation. Uh, f over 4,700 events. It was pretty fucking impressive. Um, and I, uh, had one in, uh, in a nearby city or a nearby town that I tried to go to. The host flaked. The host did not show up. So it was me and pals went to a coffee house, talked for 30 minutes, and went home. Also, that took exactly three and a half minutes. So yeah, I tried to tried to do um, political important things. Didn't didn't happen. Didn't go that way. <laughs> Hello, diamonds. How you doing? 55 diamonds. That's a heck of a lot of diamonds. Hello. How are you? I'm pretty decent. Doing some shrines. Exploring the Akala region. How are you? How does everyone feel about the lack of widgets? Do you prefer the full screen game? Or do you prefer being able to see your chats on the side over there? It broke. That's how it normally is, but it broke. Training your horse. You know, that thing that people definitely use in Breath of the Wild. Oh, okay, good. That was a freebie. Thank God. That was a lot to go through. That on side. Okay, cool. I'll just make sure to fix it before next stream. Because, let me show you. For some reason, it works on my 4x3 layout. It does not work on my 16-9 uh, layout. And you'll notice that the, um... You'll notice that the event list at the bottom there is broken. Which is, which is weird. But yeah, since they're broken, we're going with this. Kind of like being able to see it in the chat. Okay, that is a unanimous decision from my three viewers. I like it too, just because it gives me an excuse to have a thing designed that I show on screen, so. <laughs> gives it a little bit of identity. More so than just, you know, gameplay. Why are you holding on to Sonic and the Secret Rings? Re, Because it's... It's a guilty pleasure sometimes. I don't know why it is, but it is. Malin Bay, what is this area right here? Let's find out. <laughs> also, it's, it's thundering. Where am I headed? Yellow. 
Can I swim there? I can try. Yeah, yeet. Uh, t Tommy there. That's Mr. Aziz BBB, for those not in the know. He's, he's referencing a tweet I made earlier today. I, I was complaining that, uh... So, so, earlier today, I was going through my backloggery account, which is basically just my, a list of all my games, and trying to figure out what I should and shouldn't take to college, and what my brother should be able to keep. Um, I'm getting most of the games. However, there's a, there's a good bit of garbage in there that, that came into my, um, came into my possession through means that I, either through bad, through, through eBay lots, or through means that I legit don't remember, or I did play the game and it's just bad. Uh, like Sonic and the Secret Rings, for example. Um, Sonic and the Secret Rings, for example. I did buy that. It's bad. Um, however, I also have two Phineas and Ferb licensed DS games. Um, I also have um, a Tinkerbell licensed DS game that I guess was bought for my sister. I have the DS version of Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. DS version's garbage, by the way. Um, or at least compared to the Wii and all other versions. Um, I also have... Um... Uh, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. But yeah, I have a lot of bad games um, that I'm planning on selling, and if I can get any decent amount of money for it, it's it's going to my fund to get me a Switch for uh, for college. Because this Switch that I have right now, it, it my brother's keeping it. I get the Wii U. We, we, we did reach a consensus on that. I'm getting almost all of the consoles except the Switch. So it's not like I'm getting the short end of the stick, given that... We only have five games for our Switch. Anyway, that does mean I need to buy a new Switch. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. At least you didn't have a weird-ass Tom and Jerry DS game. Anyway, that was a long story just to explain his, his joke about a tweet. I said, uh, please convince me to stop being a hoarder so I can sell garbage games like Sonic and the Secret Rings and, um, and, uh, Donkey Kong Barrel Blast. Both of which, I am sure, I'll never play a game. P play a game. Play again. But, uh, I own them anyway. It was the worst game you ever played. Um, uh, most disappointing game I ever played, uh, is, is Star Fox Command. Um, worst game ever. I don't know, that can vary. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon for DS. Interesting, tell me more. Uh, uh, Shadow was pretty up there, but I do hate Sonic Heroes more. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of just games that are complete garbage that I own. That, like, I did try playing and gave a chance before realizing, hmm, this is not good. I don't know. I always push them out of my memory. I've never really played anything that's, like, so bad that, like, the the memory of how bad it is sticks out. Because if it is that bad, then I never expected anything from it in the first place. So, it doesn't really stick out in my, in my, in my mind. Whereas, Star Fox Command, I got it as a gift. And I, Star, Star Fox 64 was my first game, man. So... Definitely hard not to be disappointed by that. Especially because I, I was a young boy, so I didn't know the uh, relatively mixed reception that the Star Fox series as a whole got. Um, 64 is like the only one that's universally agreed to be good. Everything else has gotten some sort of bad reception in one way or another. Cool and nice. That was good. Granted, I don't really... I, I already have a wind cleaver. Now I have two. <laughs> I guess there are now just going to be constant sources of 
good, good, decent weapons. Of course, I define worst as game I would never go back or want to go back to. Yeah, I'm trying to... I should go through my backloggery. Sticker Star was, of course, very uh, disappointing. But I do actually want to go back to that at some point. Give it another chance beyond the standard. Well, fucking Paper Mario is so good. This isn't a Paper Mario game. It's a glorified platformer where you don't have to do any 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 battles. Which is bad in an RPG, but I'm sure it has its own other merits. Plus, like, I, I, I feel kind of masochistic right now. I've played through every other... Played through the first three Paper Mario games. Kind of is a shame to leave two unplayed, I feel. Regardless of, uh... Regardless of quality, which is a bad way to look at games, but, you know. Kind of why I... Beamed Shadow the Hedgehog. One, because it's a fucking hilarious game. Two, because it was... Um, unless I'm wrong, unless there's one I'm, I'm, I'm not remembering, it's the only, uh, only Sonic game I hadn't beaten that I owned. Father Falcon has no personality, I'd never want to revisit it as long as I live. Why are there so many Yiga? Cool and nice. Got another wind cleaver out of it. Whoa! That is a... S okay. Alright, I forgot those existed. It's a big heckin' rock... Uh, rock Henox. That's a skull Henox. I don't know how to fight it. Let's, let's, let's see how this goes. Style Nox. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, God forbid I use my battle axe. I watched Cade fight one of these. That, that'd be my brother. Um, I watched my brother fight one of these, and, um... He just, like, spammed his guardian arrows, which he had a lot of at the time. I- I have one. So, that doesn't help me all that much. Whoa! Forgot about that bit. Oh, fuck. Also badly damaged. Okay, I need to... God, this this is a little annoying. Thick boy. You know it. There we go. Jeez. He down. I broke two battle axes in the process, though. Is that a frost blade on him? Well, it's a giant. There's a giant boomerang and a frost blade. <laughs> well, it was something. Okay, I did that. He did that. Anything else in here? Doubt. Let's get back on the path. What weapons do I have now? Exclusively metal die ones. And there's thunderstorms for the rest of existence, so... That's fun. 
like shark's tail. It has personality. Horrific, stilted, god awful personality. <laughs> Whoa, it just cleared out of nowhere. I'm down. Go through this valley. Oh, that's nice to hear. Oh, what's this place? Before I head to the shrine, I gotta investigate the random pillars that don't actually mean anything as far as I can tell. That's my phone vibrating. Eh <laughs> Did you read today? No. Isn't Master Koga just dreamy? Are you a... <sighs> There's no way you don't know about him. Wait, didn't you defeat him? God, how... How many Yiga fights am I gonna have to endure? There's no way in hell that hit me. Fuck. I could stare at his tummy all day. How did I not like- I, I read that, but I didn't process that. I could stare at your tummy all day, Tommy. Will she re respawn? Uh, welcome, wel wel welcome, Donnie. I feel like last time you came in on a stream, you also heard weird kinks. I could stare at that poochy tummy of his all day long. Is it me or is that a different woman from before? Is it? <laughs> Raymond's playing Smash. What are you doing? Y'all need to tone down this kink shit. No, this game needs to. This woman just said she could stare at his tummy all day long. She dead and I got a worse um weapon than i did before but she dropped two of them um and what are they worth oh no she didn't drop two of them she i couldn't pick it up now i can what happened to the twitch frame um yeah so i've had technical difficulties and the chat box and the event list were straight up not working so uh, for for today uh i turned them off but every, everyone seems to want them back, so. I did take the opportunity to ask, Hey, would you prefer if it was just the game and nothing else? And everyone said, no. <laughs> so. They've spoken, I guess. You're chirping. Might a complaint, but I'm kind of annoyed how... Now the 7-Eleven in my area never seems to have any mini tacos. How fucking dare they? I don't have a 7-Eleven in my area. There's a shrine. That I just... It, it's right where I accidentally marked that. It, it's like in the exact location that I just happened to mark this beacon for no reason. Look at that! If that's not proof God is real, I don't know what is. I did that by accident. But we're here.
Tartosa Aug Apparatus. Oh, is this another one of those? Yes. I like the motion control shrines. Am I stupid? Yes. Oh, I remember this being one of the stupid ones, though. You fucking golf it across. Except you don't, because it sucks. Your jokes have worse writing than the Star Wars prequels. I wrote that. I forgot I wrote that. I have better writing than the Star Wars prequels. Cool, I'm in. That's the whole shrine. Is there even a treasure chest anywhere? Doesn't seem to be. I mean, God forbid I don't get a weapon I won't use. Maybe I should have checked behind the thing, though. Remember when Jesus was on the, was on the cross and you said, Burber dang. What's the joke? Are you people seeing frame drops? Not these harmful personal attacks. Let me know if there are frame drops, because it's telling me 18% of frames have been skipped. Which I don't like. I don't like it. Cool. I did that. Done. No issues to report. Yet you have a red exclamation point. I've been on patrol duty lately. The name's Haas. Gee, it's gotten dangerous around here lately, yet there are no issues to report. You think so? Yes. Recently, I've been hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. He runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. That sounds familiar from yesterday, but I don't remember. I found someone who said they were looking for the Fang and Bone shop or something. He's been making people around here suspicious with his, or uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Do you know Kilton? I, I do not. I see. Well, if you see any suspicious people, please tell me what they look like in detail. Really, if you see this Kilton character, please tell me all the juicy details. Have I met him? I don't... Was it him that I spoke to? I think I found someone who wanted to... Uh... Find Fang and Bone. I don't think it was the one who ran it. Spotting Kilton at Skull Lake. But I wonder why he only appears at night. Fortunately, I can't leave this spot. I'm on guard duty, after all. I believe wait, waiting to see a close-up picture of him. Skull Lake. Where is that? Lake Akala, Toto Lake, Lulu Lake. Those are Majora's Mask references there. This Skull Lake? No. The Ludleaf Lake. Skull Lake. Okay, well, then I definitely haven't seen him. But... That is a place I'll I'll go eventually. All right. In the meantime, good morning. Hmm. I haven't seen you around here. Well, you sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who's traveled willy nilly all over the world. Well, first of all, this Kilton guy is a pretty huge cock. I mean, downright gigantic. It's like a kielbasa sausage stuffed in his pants. Like holy shit. What the hell? Sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Nobo. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I like Akala best of all. That's why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. Is there something you want to know? Do you know Hudson? Why Why specifically am I asking her this? Hudson? Who's that? He's a carpenter? I'm not quite sure. I've been hearing clanging and banging by Lake Akala. That's south of here. Why don't you go check it out? Was that supposed to be like my way to find um him? I'm, uh, glad that Link's a silent protagonist. <laughs> uh, tell me about this area, I guess. Let's see, if you go west of the stable, there's a sacred place called the Spring of Power. Offer the sacred article to the Spring of Power. Oh, that's gonna be like the Spring of Courage, where I was able to find a shrine. Oh, that might be where I put, um, Dinral's scale. That's absolutely where I put Dinral's scale. 
Hold on, where's that? Did she say east or west? Well, only only one of these is really a, has water and could be called a spring. And I think that's how the Spring of Courage was shaped way down here. Where is it? Courage Step. Riola Spring. Where's the Courage Spring? Where's Spring of Courage? Let me prove a point. Island stable. It's definitely not that. One of the, sh the shrines in these areas is at the Spring of Kurt. It's right here. And that looks nothing like the thing I'm about to go to, but I'm going to go there anyway. Okay, blue is Spring of Courage, yellow is Skull Lake. Or Spring of Power, sorry. West of the stable, okay. I am right. How about farther areas? There's a lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by, though. Lighthouse home. Lighthouse home? Up here, maybe? That looks like it could vaguely translate to a lighthouse. Um, I guess green is the lighthouse home. I think first we're gonna go for the Spring of Power. That's a easy instant um for, uh, shrine, I think. It says, Tracy, I have a taste for the rumors of worlds long gone, gone and worlds yet to come. Everyone gossiping in the present world? Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. Treasures of the Falling Star! The stars spread out in the sky like a tapestry, and across that expanse you see one streak of light, a shooting star. I've heard there is treasure waiting where these stars have landed. Next time you see one, why not track it down to see where it lands? Okay. Um. I, I, I guess that I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Normally those give me quests. Hmm? You? I'm sorry, but have we met somewhere before? You do look familiar, but I don't know if it's from my first uh, first playthrough or not. They say great fairy fountains are some of the most beautiful places in the world. Not only are they incredibly gorgeous, but they can supposedly grant people some kind of power. Sadly, I've yet to find one. But I heard a rumor recently that there's one near Cocker. Okay, thank you for telling me the one that I know. Cockerico Village is my hometown. Oh, did I meet you there? I guess, yeah. I know you from this playthrough then. But you don't know me! Doesn't seem to be anyone else itching to be spoken to here. Through the spring of power. Hey, Beetle. What you got for me? Seriously, I'm gonna have to stop a uh, ask you to stop following me around. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'll buy those. Um, now I think I'm gonna do some cooking because I am, I am plumb out of hailing items. Uh, items. Oh, that's a big hearty radish. Plus three hearts, cool. Plus nine? Okay, that's a little overkill. That was on me. That's my bad. Plus four, okay. I'm going full culinary genius on you right now. Plus 
Also plus five. Okay, cool. In the meantime, let's just get some straight um, healing items in here. Four. I can do better than that. I'm sorry, I don't have anything important to say while I cook for 48 years. Someone give me a topic of discussion. Make me tell you about my day, which I already did. Uh. Any of you see Endgame? That movie I haven't seen yet. Y'all ever get sick, LMAO? Never. Four skin bra moment, but he used the number four instead of saying the word four, like F O R E. What? G get out of my way, buddy. Okay. Sneaky steamed meat. I went to two different theaters to see it today and both were fully booked. G gross. So like, you couldn't see it? Just come with my family tomorrow. <laughs> 12 hearts. Hmm, it's a little overkill, don't you think, buddy? Couldn't see it trying again Tuesday. Wacky. I think the only reason I'm going to be able to see it tomorrow is because we're planning on going to a drive-in that no one cares about. Whoa, that's one piece of meat and it's six. I think I'm going to cook all of those individually. I'm running low on Hylian shrooms and apples. Which is annoying, because those are like the main standard, here's how you cook food items, kinda. Alright, I think I am done. Um, done with cooking for now. Let's check my food. Y yeah, I got more than enough. More than enough for now. We'll be back, though, I'm sure, at some point. Now then, um... Your Bones is playing Smash Ultimate. Yeah, I'm just gonna veer off in a completely different direction than where I was headed to go find a spring. And a shrine in the distance, which I think is one that I've already marked. No, it's not. Hey! The blue is the shrine, or Spring of Courage, which will be a shrine. Spring of Power! Spring of, Spring of Courage is the one I've already done. Idiot. Look at those fucking horses. Everybody got a horse. I'm never gonna use her again. Yeah, fucking die, liberal. Whoa, why did he just have a fairy? He just had that. I'm not complaining. That revives you if you die, so... That worked.
What looks the most like a spring? Is it this? Yes. What's down here? Oh, is this the the real entrance? Oh, this can't burn. Oh. That's because you just walk through it. Alright. I don't need to be out here. I'll exit through here. But first, let's go to the spring itself and make an offering to the goddess. Assuming it's the offering I already have. Recall. Oh, this is a memory location. I haven't really been paying attention to these, but I should be. The idea there is that you have a bunch of photos stored in your Sheikah slate, but you don't know where they are. You gotta find the locations in those photos and you'll get memories like this one. I come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, grandmother heard them. The voices from the spirit realm. And mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven death to my devotion. Please, just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? Fuck, okay. <laughs> I was Link there. Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah, this is my album of, of, of places. Oh, I know where that is. Do I know where that is? All these look familiar. Oh. I need to... Oh, I have gotten this one. Okay. A lot of these are places I know. I just need to go to them and get my memory back. Oh, and these are just... These are just random things I took photos of when I first got the... thing. Okay, um... It doesn't differentiate between the memory ones and, and the ones you've taken, though, which is kind of annoying. Done well to find this spring. Offer Dinral's scale received from the Red Spirit to the Spring of Power. I, Goddess Hylia, will guide you. Offer the scale that you just happened to get out of nowhere from a dragon that just showed up. Remember, remember that or ordeal? Well, where's the scale? What's it look like? There it is. Cool. I feel productive. 
Part of why I, I, I stopped playing this game was because it became monotonous and I felt like I wasn't making any progress beyond just like wandering around. Ever since I started streaming again, I feel like I've had a much better idea of the things that I want to do. Which is nice. I, I don't see myself getting bored of this anytime soon. Kelly Royale is more punk, light rock, whereas motionless and white is straight up metal. Speaking of which, did you get a chance to listen to either of them, Cam? I did not. I mean, technically, I had the chance. I just forgot. <laughs> I haven't listened to any music today, oddly enough. A major test of strength. Let's use the wind cleaver. That's two weapons and a, and a shield. That's dandy. Well, that's working. That's a lot of fucking health. Do I have anything that does more than 40? No. See, this isn't going to be a hard fight, I don't think. It's just going to be a really fucking long one. Also, okay, I am wearing the earrings. I was about to say, I should put on my earrings that raise defense. Um, I have them. Do I have anything that raises attack, maybe, actually? Besides the greaves that I'm wearing. No. But I think there is a set of earrings that raises attack, which would be nice. Swimming speed. Electric resistance. Cold. Okay. Maybe I need to be freezing it. Maybe that would help me. Fuck. Oh, and that only did, like... A heart of health. Less, actually. Oh god. We're in this mode now. He's gonna start zapping the, the ground. Oh god, he's doing it again. Do I have any other heavy weapons? No, not a one. I'm about to lose my frost spear. God forbid. You're gonna do that from the corner?
Dear God. That's a good shield, though. And it's not metal. Did he drop a good sword? How good? That's a good, that's a good consolation prize. That's a good heckin' consolation prize. And for some reason, the spear ended up all the way over here, but that's good, too. And I have two slots left over, really. I broke that many weapons doing this. A major test of strength, more like a test of strength, tactics, dex dexterity, ingenuity, agility, etc. Thank you. <laughs> Another flame spear. Would have been nice if you replaced my uh, my my two icy weapons. Oh, this one wasn't a freebie. The um one at the Spring of Courage was. Let's not forget dodging lasers. <laughs> oh, I have enough for another upgrade. That'll bring me up to 10 hearts. And again, as I keep reiterating, 13 hearts to get the Master Sword. So we're getting there. We're close. Still not getting over this game having so many lasers. It's the distant future of Zelda. This is supposed to be the last one in, in, in the timeline of which there are three. They won't say which one it's in. Oh, there's a ton of guardians out here. I'm really glad I didn't have to take this route. You know, guess what I'm not doing? Order Rack Quarry. I am certain that there is a, um, Korok somewhere in there. I'm not actually certain. That's just my guess. But is that worth fighting a bunch of guardians? No. Am I planning to get all the, gar all the Koroks? No. There are 900. I only have 40. Clearly, I'm not getting them at the rate that I should be to get all 900 about when I get all the shrines. I will attempt to get all the shrines. Rock seeds, eh, different story. At least not something I'm going to stream myself doing, because that would be god-awfully annoying to watch, I'm sure. Alright, I guess we'll head to that lighthouse home that for some reason I was told about, and then head up to this labyrinth. Okay. Is it the purple? No, it's the green. Head up the road toward the green light. There's Beetle again. It's raining, but the the weather thing in the bottom right says it's sunny. It's lying. And it says after this fake sun is over, there's there's clouds coming in, so we're gonna see rain for a good bit, I suppose. I can equip a shield again. I have a shield equipped. I can equip a not amazing shield again. Let's cook the meat in advance. Look at those teeny birds. Can I cook them? No, apparently. Oh, is that a Kala Ancient Tech Lab? That's where I can get guardian arrows made. Which are basically the one way that you can actually kill guardians. Speaking of those... I think it knows I'm here. 
Majora's Mask, on. Sneaking, on. I mean, it's, it's stuck in place, so it's really not that bad. I just hope the place isn't surrounded by him. Fantasy game as you go to a factory to build laser arrows to kill robots. <laughs> yeah. Last time we had a Zelda this anachronistic. That the word was Majora's Mask, which had one of the bosses be a giant mechanical bull. Every other Zelda game is pretty, pretty consistent in not having super high levels of technology. <laughs> Here we are. All right. It's surrounded by broken up guardians. And I think it needs me to light up its furnace again, which is great because I don't remember. Oh, I do that. There are torch somewhere. Like a specific blue flame. Whatever, I'll find it later. First, let's go inside and see what they want. Whoa! Yeah, this is a Zelda game, all right. Hey, buddy! What the fuck? I... It, it's... And... It's... Hi. Hey, you! What are you doing here? That is not that man's voice. Hmm? Yes? <laughs> And I can just walk away without him asking me any questions. Are you the one called Link? That man is Tiny Dog Brown. He, he is. He is. <laughs> hmm, hmm? That's too bad. If you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I'd need to tell you. But how can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true hero? Yes, how indeed. Hmm. Hmm, yes. If you can show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago, that should prove you truly are like- Do I have scars? What the, what, what the fuck do I need to show him? Take all my clothes off? Yes, the number of- that's straight up how you- that is how you do this. I'm getting a call from my grandmother. Marty, you've got a strip. <laughs> Apparently. Most seem to have healed, but they do line up with the scars I know you got during the Great Calamity a hundred years ago. Hmm. Yes, I acknowledge you as the real Link. So, let us begin. I'm the lead guardian researcher and the director of the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. And now I'm standing here talking to you naked. Dr. Emmett Brown. Robbie. Was that sound? <laughs> In any case, I really am impressed that you made it out all the way to made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? Is she the was she the head scientist at the uh, Hateno Ancient Tech Lab? I met a child. Hmm, Pura, a child? What? She really has a kid? Hmm. Or do you mean that? Pura aged backwards, and she is now a child. That's quite the jump, but accurate. Hmm, are you certain? Hmm, so she's as crazy as ever. Okie doke, knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, hmm, yes, typical. Let us return to the subject at hand, hmm? Did you know that the Calamity is regaining its power? I know! Hmm, I see, but I don't need to tell you my story. Hmm, yeah, go ahead. Yes, I see. In that case, the goal of our Shika research, uh, Shika research burp, is simple. Really, we aim to destroy the calamity that has endured across time, to rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the calamity. We have worked ourselves to the bone conducting our research. For a time, I feared I'd pass before we could prevail. However, you, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now. Hmm, yes, yes. 
Sorry, I, I think it was more like, that means the time is now. Marty, let me snort in your belly button, Lint. How do you have a brain? You, now is the time to join forces with us, Sheikah, yes? We must destroy the calamity. The fuck? I love this guy. <gasps> Let's do it. Yes, that is correct. You and I are going to join forces to put an end to the calamity. I found my first companion. And on that note, sorry for the long preamble, but I'd like to provide you with some ancient soldier gear. Oh? Hmm? Hmm? Did you catch all that? Cherry, mm, the uh, ancient oven creates ancient soldier gear, but I fear she's out of sorts at the moment. Hmm, I'm afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. <sighs> where? It's not gonna tell me where. It's all the way over there. All right. I will get I will get new armor if I bring the blue blue flame. Okay. This game is reaching levels of surrealness unmatched by any other work of its kind. I am appalled, to say the least. And that's why you should play it. Yeah. Good day. And hey. check it out. I don't know what this voice I'm giving her is. How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's director, Pura, a shot. Maybe it was a bit much for the first time meeting you, though? Y yes <laughs> Link, don't worry about it. It's all okay. So, what do you need from me? That- Okay. About Robbie. Robbie's one of the researchers of ancient civilizations. What the fuck is he doing? He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. Oh, Robbie, we're a half century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are... Married. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Together we run the uh, Akali Ancient Tech Lab. We have a- I've got a son as well. You have. He doesn't. Have you any other questions? I wish I had the confidence to pull some real awkward shit and then just tell everyone, fuck this comment, what, they're married? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your son. That's right. I've got one son. His name is Gr Grante. Okay. <laughs> Have you seen him in your travels? I don't think so. Really? Well, if you see him, be nice to him, okay? All right. Fucking, if I, if I find someone named Grante, I'll know that he's your son. But you said I've got a son, not we've got a son. So that, I've got a few other questions that I don't think I can ask. Who are you? I'm, hey, uh, I'm Jaren. Check it out. I, stop doing that. I'm an amateur scholar of ancient history, to be honest. To be honest, I've been focusing a lot of my research on shrines. Tell me all of the ones you know the location of. Oh, that reminds me. Link, there's somewhere you need to go. Um, the left eye of Skull Lake. I know there's a shrine there, but it's a challenge to get to. Well, I'm already planning on heading up there, so. The right one's lower down. If you run into Kilton, you're on the wrong eye. Ah. Have you got any other questions? Uh, and that's the only shrine you have to talk about. The Skull's Eye. I got that quest now, but not when the other guy told me about. Alright. Wait, that's considered the left eye? Oh, that's the skull's left eye. That's right from my perspective, but... Grante. Oh, and I almost forgot it has an accent. Because he wouldn't be good old Grante without it. God, I want to fuck Grante. Ah! Are you okay? I can't tell what's happening at any point in this fucking game and it's terrifying. BRB burning my copy of Morrowind and buying a Switch. Burning your digital game. Alright, I guess I gotta go to the Ancient Flame. Wherever that is. It is over in Tumlea Heights. 
Okay. Let's head over there. There's someone sleep. Oh, it's Jared. I was like, wait. Is, is Grante here? The Grante? You want know fuck the whole hard drive. <laughs> Thomas. Are you all right? Donnie, does this count as spam? Can you block him? I want the fucking firefly! Give me some fucking fireflies! Oh god. There's a shrine in a really weird spot. Oh, that's the same one. Never mind. I see a skull there. I also see the ancient flame. I just need to get out of here without getting attacked. Well, without dying. I'm going to get attacked. A given. <laughs> Ow! I, oh, I had a fairy. Okay. God is vaguely real. Vaguely. Okay. Four hearts. Boomer, eat a clam, goddamn. Bo Boomer, are you quite all right? Oh, didn't you know? That's Grante's favorite food. Second only to ass. <gasps> Why is this of all things pissing me off so much? I don't know. You think we have an answer to that? Oh my god, I looked up what Grante looks like. Don't tell me. Let it be a surprise. Also. I just saw a Korok puzzle. Where where was it? Like literal seconds ago. Where the fuck is it? Well, there's a moblin right behind me. Tree branch. Okay, um, there it is. I gotta head up there fast. I gotta get there in time through pure climbing. Oh, I'm st oh, how close is it to ending? Come on. Dear Lord, dear Christ, I'm about to die. I have to get back up to the tech lab.
Not the tech lab. Tumblea Heights. So I can get back to the fucking, uh... Fucking torch thing. Well, what's in here? Besides bats. I keep trying to parry and it never works. You probably eat food. <sighs> Jesus Christ! He's never stopping. That boy know how to swing. Was this worth it? Probably not. Eh. Yeah, it was fine. Not anything I desperately needed, but not anything I'm gonna complain about having. This frost blade is is on its last legs. I'm certain of it. I mean, God forbid. Ronte be like, "Burr, fuck! I hit enter early." God forbid! I wonder what you were gonna put after that. Grante, a cold boy. <laughs> Let's ignore the moblin almost certainly coming up from behind me. Who eventually attack. No, you're not going to hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm on an important mission. Burr more like duv. Thank you. Your input is valued and appreciated. Whoa, he used that to light his thing on fire! One of them's gonna catch up to me and actually be able to hit me. And if not, I'm gonna get hit by that Bacoblin up, up ahead. 
Or not, I'll just run past him and everything will be fine. I didn't need to pass that. I didn't need to um, cross that bridge now that I think about it. I just kept going. It actually would have taken a shorter amount of time. But you know what? I don't have enemies following me anymore for some reason. No, instead I just have things shooting at me from the water. I love Octorox. Oh, if they hit me, I wouldn't even have lost the flame anyway. Flame! Flame! It's a flame, Scoob! We're almost there. There's a lot of... I don't know if you noticed, there's a lot of walking in this game. I believe it's what we would call a metric heck ton of walking. That's a vibration from my phone. There's a guardian here! I forgot about that! That's Twitter. News for you. Presidential biographer Ron Chernow says comedians are needed more than ever at White House Correspondents' Dinner. Okay. I feel like people place a bit too much importance on comedy. Remember the last time a fascist was brought down because people made fun of him? Call Ancient Tech Lab has been added to your map as a travel game. I mean, comedy is important as a way to, like, make people think about problems, but they don't solve- it doesn't solve the problems. Alright, away it goes. More like Ting Xiaoping. <laughs> oh, that did not go where I expected it to. Open for business. Hello, Z familiar name missing. <laughs> Welcome. Insert materials and rupees. Oh my god. Ah! Let, me, let me move my mic. Are these ancient swords able to hurt guardians? Oh, it's got some heckin' armor. And oh! You said you had armor for me. You, Link! Listen up, hmm? My darling Cherry is back to normal. Such is the power of love. My love made Cherry well again. I'm sure that's the reason. Emmet. Oh, well, uh, thank you. Yes, quite. Now then, please take this as a gift of my gratitude now that Cherry is fixed. Thank you. Three arrows. <laughs> Anti-calamity weapons, so to speak. Needless to say, they are an incredibly powerful type of ancient soldier gear. I like to call them ancient arrows. In addition to ancient arrows, Cherry can make all sorts of ancient soldier gear. If you're looking to acquire some, give your ancient materials and rupees to Cherry. I thought you said you had armor for me. Not just gear. Maybe you said gear and I took it as armor. That's why I thought you might be willing to help us out with rupees. Lots of them. I beg of you. I love him. He's so good. Four hundred rupees for five ancient arrows. Dear lord. Well, I'll... Ancient sword, sh short sword. Are these worth it? I'm sure they, they, they break. 
I'm not paying a thousand rupees for a thing that's gonna break soon. However, the ancient armor is tempting. Alright. I think I'm done here. That was useful. Ancient arrows are basically the only way you can you can kill guardians. <laughs> now then, I guess I'm going out to to see. Ooh. Wait, can I get there just by Oh, is that even water? What is that? Well, for one, I'm curious as to what's on this island. Over here. And if that island contains a shrine. I can't even see. Which I guess is the point. Let's try and float there, see if it works. There's a guardian there. And there's a shrine at the end. Is the wind actively blowing against me? That's what it looks like. I committed a sin, uh-oh. Whoa, well, since when were you entering a huge cube? Holy shit, since I decided to go to Lomay Labyrinth Island. Oh, this was really close to not making it. You who have reached this point, proceed onward through the maze and you will receive a reward. Isle of the Labyrinth. Well, I see it at the end there. Oh god. So it's uh it's maze time. Um the shrine is in this bit here. Do I need to try it from several different angles before I find out what the real angle is? Can I climb the walls? I can. Can I get up to the top of them? I actually think I can. Maybe if I hadn't jumped at the very start. Oh, but there's scary guardians at the top. Like scary flying ones. And it's raining, so this is a no-go. That's, in fact, pain. I don't really have an idea of where I'm going. Getting a bit tired, so I'm probably gonna go to bed. Good night, everyone. All right, see you later, boomer. It is 10. I've been streaming for two hours. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna stop. I don't feel super tired, but I also took a nap at like six. Very poor choice on my part. What is this? Whoa. What did that do? If anything. Do I have to find like four switches and undo them?
Or did that just let me through a wall? Or something that appears to be a wall on the map, but isn't actually. Hey! How you doing, buddy? Die immediately. Alright. Huh. This is so fucking big. I've only scoured this corner. So I know there's a shrine at the end of this, and I know there's a... There's an item, some sort of relic that lets me teleport that I can find here. Sure sounds fucking useful about now. He says, drinking water. Guzzling down some sweet dihydrogen monoxide. <laughs> hey. Oh, fuck. Not really what I want to be using on those. Silver rupee. Cool. That's always nice when you just spent 50 million dollars on arrows. But eventually I'm gonna find a chest in here labeled EX. And that chest will um, contain a teleportation item. Okay, that's a good bit of people. And I can't escape. I think the frost blade is gonna break on this hit. Yep. I hate all star and ultimate. I've never tried it actually. More like XD. Ha ha ha. Go away. It's over for you. Just a bow at the end of this? And is that straight up a dead end? Wait, take? Oh, that's just the bow. This is an odd, um, porch candle thing. Also, that's a- just a dead end. I can't get into this area from any- anything on this side from what I can tell. I guess I'm supposed to be using the- Shrine Tracker as a warm cold detector. This is terrible. I had an idea of where I was supposed to go as opposed to just yeah here's a big fucking maze 
You have to get to a part of it. We're not going to tell you which part. It's not a test of your wits. It's a test of can you fucking happen to stumble upon a thing? Oh, there's this. I feel like there was a chest there that I already got. I also feel like I checked this area already. I did not, but it's just a spear, so it's really not all that helpful. But it got me some key swings and eyeballs. BRB eating an entire block of cheese in one sitting. Wish me luck. Why? Why are you doing that? I don't think I tried this angle. And that might be the angle. Is it the angle? Is this where I need to be? Did I make it? Um... No. I don't think I did. In fact, I didn't. This is just equipment. Okay. Anna, how do I get out of this area in particular? If you go this way, that's just... Okay. Is this fun to watch? Are you people enjoying yourselves? Watching Cameron check a map over and over. As if it's helping him. It just says, if you travel through the maze, you'll get something. <laughs> Does not say to which point you have to travel. Yeah, that giant T spot here, right there, um, apparently it, uh, isn't actually a restrictive part. I'm sure this is a hell of a time for 100% speed runners. Granted, a 100% speed runner. This game is probably like 72 hours already.
Oh, but that one's just a dead end. Wish I could zoom in on the map on the bottom. Then I wouldn't have to keep pausing every time I wanted the map. Hold on. Is that a thing you can do? No. No, it isn't. Oh, um, I think I'm almost out of this spot. Back out into the open, I am. I did it. Now I can go into the left side. And pretend it's any better or different. Fucking hell. Get away from me. I'm not dealing with you right now. I really am not. What is this all about? Have I been here? I've been here already. Oh, this seems decently promising. Whoa. All right, what did that do? Did that light my way forward? <laughs> did that get me into the shrine? Are we out of here? No, it gave me a great flame blade. Okay. God damn it. That gave me hope. This place is really good at that, it seems. However, you can still walk up here. Maybe that was just an aside on the way. I think that might be the case. Will my optimism be rewarded? Remains to be seen. But I think... It has been. Oh, and it had two entrances. Alright. This better be a freebie. This has to be a freebie. <laughs> you fucking know it's a freebie. Barbarian Helm. Huh. I think I think it's the first time I've gotten armor from a shrine treasure. Cool. I'll definitely accept that. Spirit Orb Number five. How many shrines have I done this stream? I don't know. <laughs> Dear Lord. Oh! And that opened up and will let me to the top, I guess. Or no. What's at the bottom? Oh, that's a thing here that will bring me to the top of... That'll bring me to the shrine if I want. Okay. 
Just in case I ever want to return here for some reason. Now then. I still have to find this goddamn relic. This... <clears throat> Teleportation rumors. Hidden beneath the labyrinth. Labyrinth. Beneath? I feel like I'm gonna have to... What do I have to do to get to that? Okay, I actually... I kind of do just want to look that one up. I don't want to spend hours roaming through the labyrinth when, um, if that's not what I need to do. Okay, so it gives me an item. Okay. I know where it is now. I know where it is now. Okay, back. While you were gone, I uh, finished the shrine. Or er, got to... Got through the labyrinth and did the shrine there. Which was nice. Now, I, um... Am on the search for a travel medallion, which will let me teleport to places I've been... Which I can kind of already do. I don't really know how this one's going to work. Or what it is. Yeah. That's what it means by beneath the labyrinth. Under here, there's a diamond circlet. Ooh. Oh, and that's sold at the Gerudo shop, so I don't need to get that made for me. I also would have had to use three diamonds to make that. Guardian resist up. Thank you. Give me that for now. Holy shit. Yeah, there was no getting out of that. Dear fuck. <sighs> Retry! That count has already haven't been gotten. Will it retain that I got it? Yes, because that's where it's saved. Is there any way for me to get out of that? Actually, I wish I ate a whole block of cheese. I'm sorry you didn't. Okay. Pretty sure the travel medallion is there too. I just need some time to regroup. Whoa! How did those all manage to miss me? And how did I manage to grab onto the wall there instead of turning the corner, which would have saved me? Instead, I spent the whole time trying to give myself eye drops and failing because my eyelids are cowards. <laughs> me too. No, my eyelids aren't cowards. I just miss every time. I'm actually an idiot. Wow, I can't even get out the intended way. Huh? 
I'm just gonna keep trying that over and over and it's never gonna work. Dear God. I don't like the lasers. I don't like guardians. Guardians kind of suck. I did it right the first time. Every other time subsequently. Nope. Mm -mm. Just do what you did the first time, you idiot. There we are. I think it's because for some reason I was chickening out and like... Trying to conserve my stamina. I have two full wheels of stamina. I do not need to conserve it. Do you see treasure chests anywhere? Why is there is that rain leaking in from the top? Oh, that's supposed to be. Enjoying this dramatic music interrupted every four seconds with doodly doodly da. There's a chest. That's definitely it. Travel medallion. This mysterious tool was made using forgotten ancient technology. Place it by opening your pouch and registering your current location as a travel gate. So I can set it down somewhere and then teleport to that place later. Okay, I don't know how useful that'll be. Or when I'll remember to use it. Because I absolutely won't ever. Why are the Guardians just the, I assume, sphere droids from Incredibles, but with a chimney? <laughs> I... I don't know. Don't believe I have an answer for you, my friend. Is there a way off this island? Like, a normal way off this island? I guess I can float places. Let's try using the wind to get to the blue beacon in the distance. Oh god. Is this really the only source of wind here? It expects me to get out based on solely this.
There it is. Now what's here? What will you reveal? A Korok. Yup. I like how I get annoyed when I get, get Koroks. <laughs> like it's an inconvenience to me. I guess that's a shrine I did already? Really? Where is that? Oh, that's way out there. Jeez. Sometimes I forget how far reaching the your your you know line of sight is. I don't think there's any reason to be down here. I really don't. But I'm doing it anyway for some reason. Because for some reason I have a hunch there's like a chest down here. I can at least get ancient materials. Alright, I think I'm out. Um. Okay, so where's my next location to go? I guess probably the Akala Wilds over to Skull Lake. But I think I'm going to do that next stream. That's what I think I'm going to do. Probably tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I might be seeing... I don't know when I'm seeing Endgame if I am. I hope I'm seeing Endgame. It's not certain. Actually, before I end the stream, I'm going to go upgrade... Um, go, go get an extra heart container. That's what I'm going to do. And on that note, I'm going to head to the Temple of Time. Well, first I'm going to head to the Shrine of Resurrection. It's been a good heckin' bit since I've been on the Great Plateau. Which is where you start in the game. Your origin story. My neck hurts. I don't know why. That's my phone again. That's an Instagram message. Someone sent me a meme. Not looking at it yet. Nee. Nanner. Thank you, Cambot. I'm absolutely going to use this time to get Hyrule sh Hylian Shrooms, though. If I come across them. And apples, because I have been a bit low on those. And those are basic healing items I need. This was annoying to get up because I had no stamina. Eh. And when the enemies here were decently, um, threatening. And I'm only like a fourth of the way through the game. Why is the frame rate dead? Why'd it do that? 
All right. You've conquered the shrine. You can do a thing. Give me a heart container. Thank you. I might go sleep soon. Not now, but soon. I'm going to teleport back to the tech lab and then I'm going to... That's going to be it for me. For tonight. First, I want you to take in just how fucking big this map is. Look how far this one... This spot where I am is from where I'm about to teleport to. God. Yeah, no. I definitely highly recommend it. It seems like something that- it seems right up your alley, honestly. Zoom! Okay. I just realized the VOD on this is gonna look really weird because, uh, or, or gonna sound really weird whenever I read chat out loud because I'm not like. At no point did I directly say anyone's username. So when I just said Zoom, they, they might, if someone goes back and rewatches this, they might just think that that's a thing I said for no reason. But that was reading your comment. Donnie said zoom. Therefore, I read it. That's how t Twitch works. I'm going to bed. Lol, good. I have 10 hearts, which is nice. Started at three. <laughs> Always cool. Okay. Thank you, people, for joining me. It was fun. I'm gl I'm I'm I I'm really glad to be back into this game because uh, for a good bit there I was bored of it. I think I just needed like a sense of direction and now I have one, so it's I don't know, real good. It's almost like when this when a game wins game of the year from every fucking publication ever, it might be a decent game. All right, see you nerds later. Thank you for joining me. Probably gonna stream tomorrow, assuming um I don't see Endgame late. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Bye.